Now continuing on from the previous training video when we learned how to set a required data entry macro to the customer name field. I mean it depends if you want to continue on or if it doesn't matter whether you have a message macro but the problem was is that when somebody forgot to type in the customer name and they tried to save the record the required data entry macro took them back to that field here but it didn't display a message saying hey you gotta enter in the customer name here. It just took the cursor back to the field and so nobody may get the hint that they need to enter in the customer name. So in addition to the macro to require data to be entered into this field, we're going to tag on a pop-up message box to that macro where it will go ahead and display that message if the user forgot to uh, enter in a customer name. So let's go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view, and then make sure that you bring up the property sheet for the entire form. As you recall in the previous training video, you can right click in the uh, blue area here, go to properties if it's already up, Make sure it says the selection type is form. If not, click on the drop down arrow, go to form, and then click on the event tab because that's where we uh, started in the last training video to create this embedded macro that before somebody can go ahead and save the record that this macro checks for this field, customer name field, to make sure that there's data entered into that field. So let's go ahead and add on to that. Click in that cell, click on its build button, opens up the macro that we already uh, worked on in the previous training video. Let's go ahead and click on the if to select it. There we go. And then where it says you can add a new action within that uh, if statement, if this happens, then do this, this, this. Well, also we want to go ahead and add. Click on the uh, new action drop down arrow and let's go ahead and type in M E S S message box. Once you see it there, just hit the tab key to select it and it says, okay, what kind of message do you want to display when this happens? If customer name is blank, then cancel the event, then go to the control, then display this message. And there's my message. You must enter a value in the customer name field. Do you want to give it a beep? Yes. Or no beep if beeps annoy people. In any case, I'll leave it to yes. Then the type, when you hover over it, it tells you the type of information you can display if it's none, or if it's critical, or if it's warning, or just informational. Click on the drop down arrow, we can say it's for your information. That we won't save the record unless you go ahead and type something in the customer name field. And then the title for this message box could be validate data message. And then don't forget, if you want to go ahead and create a comment explaining what's going on up above, go ahead and click on the add new action. Type in C O M M, there it is. Comment, hit the tab key, and then go ahead and type it in. There we go. Display a message box to inform the user why the record is not saved. So all this is happening within the if statement. So if this meets this condition, customer name is empty, then cancel the event, go to the control or the customer name field, and display the message. Okay. And be sure to save our work here. Let's close out of it. And let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. Let me right click, go to the form view, and then come down at the bottom, click on new blank record. Let's type in the customer number, and then let's skip the customer name. We start typing in the address, and we're like, okay, we're done. Let's go ahead and save it. Shift Enter. There we go. You must enter a value in the customer name field. Yay, the message box works, and there's the, uh, the title of the box, Validate Data, and I for Information. Click OK. Took me right to the customer name field, and you can see the record hasn't been saved, so I have to type in something, and then when I do, it'll allow me to save the record. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to get out of that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.